Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. Italian property. That's why you're here, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now then, five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 235 square meters, two kilometers from Caprese Michelangelo, where Michelangelo was born. Isn't that fantastic? Shops just down the road. Anghiari, probably 20 minutes, maybe 15. Sansa Polkro, probably 20 minutes, maybe 18. <laughs> Arezzo, probably 35 minutes away. Nice piece of land. Everything else is owned by the church. Potentially, you might be able to buy a bit more if you needed to. Restored, jolly nice. And I found something which I'm going to show you at the end of the video, which is absolutely fantastic. You ready to go? Come on then. Right, so let's just pick up the old gimbal. And first of all, uh, what you would notice is that the sun is behind the house. So over there, and this way is east. And here is the land around. And isn't that absolutely lovely now this house doesn't have a swimming pool so if you want to put a pool in it's going to go somewhere here holding the ground and i'm just going to pull back over here dusty car and i've just used it as my tripod now you've got private parking and i'm going to show you um the downstairs cantinas because that's a ground floor kitchen but we'll get to that in a minute right let's go So you park your car, you come around here, you just come up, and I, <laughs> that's gonna be so exciting, I tell you. And this is your front door. Now, this is a mill house or a mill complex. So here's your front door. Push that open, and in we go. Really, absolutely lovely entrance hall. Lovely terracotta flooring on the, on the floor. <laughs> well, well, where else would it be? And lovely terracotta on the ceiling. Original fireplace. And I can see that that has been working at some stage but it's obviously uh, hasn't been used in quite a while. Now, popping over to this first room on the ground floor, and this is the TV room, and I really like that. I would really love to get in here and then hunker down with some nibbles and a glass of wine and watch a nice movie. Big differentiation of the light between the window and the interior. And they have used a really nice color. And then they've got some bespoke shelving, which has been done in the same color. And I, I love that. I think that's great. I really do. Now, that's an original piece of woodwork and I can tell that just by this hinge here. What is in there? Oh, right. Best room in the house. Okay. Let's pull around here. Now then, we've got two parts. I think we're going to go and uh, do the living room first and the bedrooms on one side and then on the uh, north wing, not the east wing, there are a number of more bedrooms and we're going to go and have a look at that as well. Really simple appointed kitchen. Two windows overlooking the Tuscan countryside and you've got everything that you would need now there's a outdoor country kitchen so i think that if you had your 
swimming pool, that's where you want to be. Now, I'm just going to show you this. Right, you see, I've seen those handles before and I really like them. And in there, there's a the fridge and underneath there, there's the freezer. All I can hear are birds. I mean, this time of the year, just the bird song is absolutely divine. Right, so ground floor bedroom. Again, really nicely done, very simple, nice sink, no bidet, uh, a really nice shower. Hope you can hear the birds. This house has brand new electrics and it has been uh, a full restoration. So that's the bits that you come into. So bathroom, your TV snug and your kitchen. Now we come up here and I can see a wooden balustrade and these aren't the original floor tiles, but they're all right, they're not bad. But if I pull around, I mean, look at that for absolutely, wait for it everybody, charming living room. Really lovely big space. It's probably five meters by six meters. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, again, windows looking over your land and the trees ahead. And I'm going to push the camera out and it will adjust so you can get an idea of what I am seeing. And there you go. A whop of a fig tree. And just hills. Just gonna turn and show you the return. Yeah, it's a really lovely room. What a gorgeous place to sit. The bird song's just gorgeous. Right, to the right of me, there's uh, French doors and uh, they are stairs leading down. I can see that they've got um, LED lighting on the stairs. And then if we go up these, You can see that this has a wooden balustrade. You come into a hallway and then you've got two bedrooms. You've got this bedroom one And you've got the same balustrade and that leads up to a gallery area. And I suppose you could put a bed in there if you had a small child or, you know, a walking child. And the door, which is just over here, goes into a cubby hole. All right. This has a bathroom on suite. Oop. Uh, no bidet, but a shower and a loo. And then almost a mirror image and a big double bedroom and again if I pull up here and you can see the west light shining through the window and then I come this way and in here I didn't open that window but you have a similar shower no B-Day 
and a sink. We have a jolly nice view, again looking out over the countryside. Right, so that's the first section of the house and we have just seen two bedrooms, both en suite, a really gorgeous living room and I can show you that as I come down the stairs and that's a jolly nice room actually. As a holiday home, I would be incredibly happy in an evening with the fire going and family and friends. All right, just as we came up to the stairs, there's a window again. There's actually windows everywhere. And I'm just going to show you in here. All right, so in there you've got underneath the stairs and it's on gas. There's the gas boiler and uh, there will be a gas tank outside. Just seen a thermostat on the, on the, uh, on the wall. All right, so we're back to the point where we started. And then we're going to go up the second flight of stairs. And then here, there's a door with a staircase which leads down. Just see if I can show you that. And that has a small portico. I do like that lamp. Yeah, I really do like that. Not sure about the bulb, but the lamp is absolutely gorgeous right so as we come up on the second flight of stairs to the right of me there's a really nice bathroom and that has a bath bidet toilet sink and shower so that's a good sized room Here you have bedroom three, and that's a twin. Uh, really nice terracotta flooring. New terracotta uh, ceiling tiles, but the ground, the uh, floor are all original. So moving on, and this is bedroom four, and it's got a double bed in, it's got two side uh, tables, um, sorry, cupboards either side of the bed, um, but it doesn't have a wardrobe in, but I think you could probably get a wardrobe in there. You could probably get a wardrobe, yeah. Looks absolutely immaculately kept. And then bedroom five, bedroom five, two windows. As I said earlier, I mean, there's just so many windows everywhere. And I looked, I do like these curtains, the way that they've done that. You see that? Really nicely done. It's a bit orange, um, and that's my fault because I uh, set the color balance in between uh, daylight and tungsten uh, because I don't want a variable color balance. Now this door here leads up to the attic and I'll show you that and that is part of the house that hasn't been uh, rendered um, or plastered on the wall. Can you see the stonework? I, isn't that just beautiful? I really love that. And on the other side, they had 
wood ceilings. This part here has the original terracotta tiling. It's had a new roof. I think that's really great. All right, let's just get out of there. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go out of that door. All right, out we go. So, out onto the portico. Camera will adjust. Overlooking the Tuscan countryside. There's my tripod. <laughs> I'm just going to pop down the stairs without trying to jiggle the, uh, the gimbal too much. And then I'm going to pull around here. Now, that barn, this one here, doesn't come with it. Um, but what does come with it is this, where I set up shop earlier, and that is your downstairs kitchen area and it will just be fantastic with uh, if you had a pool here absolutely fantastic i can hear a tractor in the background and i can hear typical country noises now the last room right and that's quite low but it is necessary and you have you know all your bits and pieces in there uh, which you're going to need for gardening and the lawnmower and wheelbarrow and bits and pieces. Right, now, I don't believe this comes with the property, but when I got here, I mean, can you imagine, like four or five hundred years ago, um, and when I got here I went, oh, wow, wow. Now, I don't know how far we're going to be able to get in here, but... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to fall into a pit, right, but I'm going to try to get in as far as I can, see what we can... Oh, Nick, be careful, I'm sinking. Oh, no, I'm not melting, I'm sinking. Hang on. Now, Mill House. Do you see this thing here? At the back of it, there is basically, I can see, a wooden beam. Can you see that beam there? You see this wooden pole there. Now they would have diverted the water, which would have come down and they would have pulled this handle, which is just here. And that would have turned that wheel, right? And which would have actually turned your grinding stone, which would have been above you. It's, it's just amazing. It's a, it's a museum piece. And look, if I pull down here, look at the color and the green and everything about, oh, wow. Oh, look at those. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm just gonna try to, well, that would have been done by hand, you see? You see down here, look, you would have had that in there and you would really be able to rotate that. Oh, I'd love to spend half an hour rummaging, rummaging around in here, that's just fantastic. And there's something else over there as well. What a piece of engineering. Absolutely, totally amazing. Right, I'm gonna see whether I can finish off and do a piece right over here. Just bear with me for a second. Oh. <laughs> right, my name is Nick Fran and these are my Italian one take property tours. Thank you so much. Look at it, it's stunningly beautiful. I'm gonna take some pictures in a minute and post them on Instagram. Um, price of this house. 430,000 euros, five bedrooms, four bathrooms. Um, the, the vendor is very keen to sell, so she would look at sensible offers. Uh, I think it's a really, just a perfect holiday home. Nothing to be done, just bring suitcases and off you go. Right, if you want further information, send us an email, info at abodeisley.com. Um, if you haven't subscribed, <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do. Just push buttons and that would help me to help you. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. It's a small one, remember, not that expensive. Five bedrooms, four bathrooms, lovely living room, absolutely fantastic. Until the next one, I'll see you soon.